Hey there guys, it's Blade of Wire here bringing you a new StarCraft related video and this time it won't be a commentary on a Pro League match but rather a remake of a video that I have done some time ago in which I explain how to do uh, a commentary on StarCraft games on uh, Windows and uh, this will be somewhat kind of a special anniversary video since, th uh, since this will be my 250th upload on YouTube and uh, the reason why I'm doing this uh, as the 250th video is that because as of late I've seen uh, quite a lot of people asking questions on uh, you know how you're supposed to do it and because the old video isn't really up to date since I've changed some of the things uh, that I'm using right now when I'm doing a commentary so um, yeah let, let's get started first thing first of course when you're commentating uh, you need a video to commentate on and there you have more or less three uh, possibilities first is YouTube as you're seeing right here uh, the John747 account. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with um, uh, Baezi as of late. He hasn't been uploading to John747, but you can uh, alternatively, of course, use the Nevake account as well, which is the, um, the Team Liquid account for, for uh, uploading videos to YouTube. And uh, what you basically do, of course, usually is just go on the video and use videos ex extensions as what you see right here up in the corner for me, download helper. There's uh, a ton of these kind of uh, add-ons for YouTube. But what you can do even better is download it directly as MP4 that saves you the conversion and I believe also it's a better quality than the FLV that you would get. And uh, to get it as MP4 you have to follow a guide that is found here on se2gg.com. You can find the guide in the general section of the forums under guides and how to's. And um, it's basically right here how to download high quality mp4s off of YouTube with Firefox it's the first um, um, topic right here in this in this uh, section of the forums and uh, basically you just need to get uh, the grease monkey add-on for Firefox uh, I'm pretty sure know that um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you Firefox users already know about it it's an add-on that allows you to uh, use certain scripts within your browser and um, what you basically do is just um, install Grease Monkey and then uh, install this script right here. You have the link here, and uh, when you have that done, uh, afterwards when you go to YouTube, you will always see a little link here where I'm pointing right now uh, under the video description where it says download as MP4, and you just go over it, and you will see that pretty soon I will get a window. There you have it, the window to save the video as MP4 directly which is of course pretty cool because uh, it's it's better quality so so that's cool. Uh, the second possibility is to go to teamliquid.net and go to their VOD section where they have their uh, their tracker, their torrent tracker and um, the cool thing about it is that it's also like like the John747 account normally as of late uh, for some reason not but uh, normally uh, just like the John 747 it updates fairly quickly you see the games played today beca between OGN and and the stars and CJ versus uh, NBC games so um, a very nice um, uh, update time and also very good quality of course uh, within the torrents the only problem is that for a lot of you people uh, out there this will be a very very slow uh, process especially uh, if you live in countries I just know I just heard from from uh, Morph uh, 1081 a fellow commentator that in England for example if you download torrents your provider will limit uh, your bandwidth uh, simply because they want to kind of prevent people from using torrents or getting illegal stuff or whatever so um, if you can if you have good speed torrents are definitely the best source to get your VODs from uh, otherwise uh, as I was saying YouTube and the other possibility is SE for all. If say, for example, you can't get the torrents from um, um, from Team Liquid because that would be too slow. If you can't uh, find the videos you want on John Seven for Seven or Nevaka, you can go to SE for all, and in their SCTV section, you will also find uh, quite a number of games that um, have been played in Pro League and other important leagues. Uh, it doesn't update that quickly. You see the latest games from the 17th. It, it updates okay and um, in order to get the videos you have to start them so that they start loading and you see uh, directly after I started it I have the uh, download helper here spinning around and showing me that I can download this video this time as FLV so in the case of SC for all you will need to download and then convert it to something else okay so you got the video 
Now, probably the second question that you will be asking yourself is, what about audio? Well, audio is pretty simple. You just get Auda City. This is an open source program. has always been very, very nice, and uh, you can uh, pretty much export the data as WAV. If you want to get it as MP3, you will need to install the lame codec, the lame MP3 codec on your computer, and um, after afterwards you can export um, as MP3 directly as well. That's also a, a nice thing. And, um, of course, you just have it as MP3, and then uh, you put it together with a video in what probably most Windows uh, users will be using to make their VODs, namely Windows Movie Maker. There we have it. So you would just be dragging in a video here, bringing in the audio, and pulling them both right here down in the video and the audio section, making, of course, sure that you sync them up here so that... Um, you you have you have them synced up uh you know with your your audio with what's happening uh in the video and what is important to keep in mind of course is to go to extras and this i'm not sure what it's called in english probably uh audio levels or something you see it right here and you can choose um how um dominant the audio from the video and the uh your commentary audio will be and what you usually want to do is get this this um this this thing right here in the middle and pull it almost all the way to the right simply because you don't want people to just hear the Korean commentator speaking and the uh, in-game sounds you want yourself to be heard so somewhere at about this area is okay for most videos uh, simply because you still have a little bit of a commentary sound um, in the background and the, the unit so the game in-game sound uh, in the background and you can uh, be heard very very well as well so um, that's what usually what I usually do, and then just you know export the um, the uh, film. If it if it's uh, over ten minutes, of course, what you will need to do will be uh, uh, to cut. You have here the cut button, and then 